Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, thanks. Hi. Great. Nice to hear that. Okay, welcome. Welcome to our class number nine. What day is today? Uh huh. Today is today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, March. March. Uh, night. Nine. Exactly. 2022. Yesterday was Women's Day, by the way. Yesterday was women. So to all the women, we commemorated, <laughs> okay, the Women's Day. All right. Well, I'm happy. A lot of women in this class actually attending. Hello, everybody. Hello. Good evening. I hope you're fine. I wish you a nice day. I hope you had a great day. Okay. I hope you're okay. I hope you're awesome. I hope you're doing great. That's nice. Welcome. All right. Say something on the chat. Say hello. Exactly. Hello. Good evening. Nice to see you. Welcome. Uh -huh. Well, Jennifer says I have problems with the audio. Sorry to hear that. Yes, yeah, sorry to hear that. Yes, okay. Well, some people are having the camera on. That's great. That deserves a reaction. Claps. <laughs> That's nice. Now, nice to meet you in person. <laughs> okay. Now I recognize who you are. That's great. All right. Say something on the chat or show a reaction, a happy face, a celebration. That's awesome. Okay. So everybody's here tonight. Welcome to this class. We have 18 people. According to this, we have, let's see, I'm going to read the names. We have Alison Milena, Ana Mayora, Eva Argueta, Glenda Lisset, Jennifer Enriquez, Kenya, Marlene, Maritza, Marta, Melvin, Nidia, Norma, Tatiana, Vidal, William, Jami, Joanna. Okay? A lot of people, but we see very few people actually. Okay? All right. Nice. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about my dog. Sometimes it's kind of crazy, especially when people pass in front of the house. Okay. Give me one second. It's a neighbor's dog, actually, but my dog is kind of quiet now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's be welcome to our class. As I mentioned, before this is our class number nine right yes all right at the end of this class we will be able to name activities that we hate doing and we're gonna create affirmative and negative sentences in simple past yesterday yes we were starting giving and following direction on the map but now we're gonna change to a, a kind of different different topic okay so let's move on this is based on a survey of what people hate to do okay so they say uh top eight things that people hate to do okay the number one is uh -huh. stand in line stand in line stand in line you like it or you don't like it? No, I like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I, like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate it. That's why you say yes. the eight yes, things people hate to do. 
Okay, number two, do the laundry. You like it or you don't like it? Mm, you like it. Yes. I like it. I like it. All right. Yes, maybe in our country it's not that terrible because everybody does the laundry in their home, right? But in other countries, people do the laundry in a public place where all the people go to do the laundry. Sometimes you have to make a line. Sometimes you have to wait for your turn. You have to wait until the the machines uh, dry the clothes. So maybe it's not very nice. But in our country, everybody does the laundry in the house, right? So maybe it's not that bad. For me, it would be like not so bad. When I have the time and, and there is water, because we need water in the house, it's okay, right? Okay, number three. What is number three? Travel to work. Travel to work in the horrible traffic in the morning with a lot of people. You like it or you don't like it? No, I like I it. Don't like I don't like it. it. I, don't like it. <laughs> I hate it. It's terrible. It. It's difficult. It's stressful. It's crazy. I know. Uh, traveling to work is very difficult. Very, very difficult. Yes. Okay. Number four. What is number four? Go to meeting. Go to meeting. You like it or you don't like it? You don't like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and because you organize the meeting. <laughs> yes, it depends. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes the meetings are necessary, sometimes are meaningful, are important. But sometimes the meetings are in your lunch hour. When you when you want to go home, the meetings start. Uh, no, I don't like that. <laughs> okay. okay, exercise. Do you like to exercise or you don't like to exercise? I hate it. I, hate I like it. it. I like it. it. I hate it. I like it. <laughs> All right. It depends. If I can do the exercise, it's okay. But if I don't have the time and I'm tired, nah. Number six. What is number six? Work in, the yard. work in the yard. Do you like it or you don't like it? Oh, yes, I like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like it. I don't like it. Yeah, for some people, it's relaxing. For some people, it's relaxing. Yes, especially when you do gardening, plants, flowers, right? Okay, number seven. Clean the house. Clean the house. Like it or don't like it? Don't like it. I like it. <laughs> don't like it. Like it. <laughs> it's difficult and everybody yes. makes a mess and you cleaning and it's difficult, I know. And the number eight probably no aplica como tal. Open the mail, sino que open emails or check emails right, yes. porque check ahora email, es más yes. que todos emails verdad email, so sí. checking emails yes. you like it or you don't like it mm. ah. yes, I, I like okay. it I like it all right some people say it's okay some other people say nah it's not okay all right so that depends right okay According to, yes, this image, these are some of the things people hate to do. So do you hate to do these things? What other things do you hate to do and why? At the bottom, al pie de esta imagen están estas otras questions, ¿verdad? Do you hate to do these things? And what other things? ¿Y qué otras cosas usted detesta hacer? Mm -hmm. For example, I can say, I hate, I hate to wait. I hate to wait when I go to the doctor. <laughs> and you know what I mean? In the public system, mm, terrible. <laughs> uh -huh. I hate to, what else? What else? Oh, I hate 
to be in the traffic. That's terrible. Uh huh. I hate to take out the garbage. <laughs> All right. ¿Qué otras cosas ustedes detestan o odian hacer? Like, oh, I hate to do that. A ver, vamos a, com a, a contarnos aquí nuestros chicos. Eh, planchar, no sé, ¿cómo se dice planchar? Press. Press my clothes. Ah, pues eso. I hate to press my clothes. Or iron. Puede, puede ser, podría ser iron. Iron my clothes. It's mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Eh, ¿Será que nos puede compartir cómo es que se pone esa oración? Porque yo, oh, yes, antes, of estaba, yo, yo comparto eso con Nidia. Nidia fue que dijo que voy a ah, planchar. Lo que no le gusta hacer. Va, permítame, solo un segundito que I'm going to. Voy a poner un slide extra para irle poniendo esas cosas. Don't worry. Give me one second. Vamos a ver esta, vamos a duplicar, duplicate the slide. Yo también detesto ese. I hate to iron the clothes. I know. Vamos a ver. Vamos a insertar, insert text box here. Mm -hmm. One minute, one minute, please. Vamos a ir anotando el new vocabulary then. Okay, here we go. So you see, let me see. Insert text box is here. So you say, I hate to press. This es como planchar, press the clothes. O ustedes lo pueden poner como iron también. Como Iron Man, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer esto un poquito más grande para que se vea. Don't worry, give me one second, please. My expertise. With this. Okay. I'm going to make this, this color. All right. Ajá. Uh -huh. Another, yes, the one. Okay, I hate to wait. Okay, <laughs> in line or to wait for the doctor, maybe. <laughs> in the public system, usually happens that, right? Okay, uh huh. What else? Odio hacer trámites gubernamentales, dicen por acá. I hate. Ajá. ¿Cómo podríamos poner eso? Veamos. How can we say that? Sí, yo creo que se sería como I hate to go to government. <laughs> To government, que no nos vayan a castigar. Offices. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. I hate to wash the dishes. Vamos a hacer más nice. <laughs> to wash the dishes. Especially cuando uno cocina un huevo y se enchucan todas las caseras. <laughs> ¿Qué pasa aquí? Dice. Ok. As if it was a gourmet restaurant. <laughs> Uh -huh. I hate algo que definitely I hate is to listen to my neighbors <laughs> to my neighbors music I hate it for sure I hate that mm -hmm. what else Ajá, uh -huh. I hate. Algo más que no le guste. Something else. Shy, don't be shy, don't be shy. I hate to do homework. <laughs> Ahí en el chat escribieron varios. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> okay, I hate to go to <laughs> me too. I hate to get up early. Yes, I hate to to bending. Is a que a qué se refiere, Norma? Miss Norma. El del bending, del bending machine. I hate getting up early on Sundays. Yes, I hate going to East. Uh -huh. I hate me not. <laughs> I hate myself. Esa no cuenta. I hate folding clothes. Okay. I hate cleaning the refrigerator. I hate cleaning the, uh, the toilet. I hate the traffic. I hate the traffic. Heavy. I, I the heavy traffic. I hate my work. <laughs> I hate to clean my sunglasses. <laughs> okay, nice. All right. That counts. Okay, tienen algunos examples. Very good. Nice. Nice participation. I hate cooking fried eggs. I hate washing the dishes after cooking eggs or fish. No, I hate it. <laughs> the test. <laughs> El smell. Okay, nice. Well, what else? There are not many things I hate actually to do. Hmm. No, not many. Okay, no problem. Let me see. Well, estos son como algunos de los ejemplos, ¿verdad? And it's okay. Bye. Vamos a hacer una conversation para hablar del pasado. The past. Quiero que vean acá. Espérenme. Vamos a hacer esto más grande. Let's make this bigger. Veamos. Jennifer and Michael. Tienen una conversation. Entonces, vamos a buscar acá nuestro lápiz. My drawing. Hmm. Or the spotlight better. Ok. So... Let's put it this way. Okay, hi Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercise. Estábamos hablando de odiar el ejercicio, ¿verdad? To hate to do the exercise. I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. That's Michael. Michael ni se había percatado. They have an exam. Okay. So one more time. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning and then my roommate and I, my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué le pasó a este don Michael? So Jennifer, say hi Jennifer. Did you have, vamos a utilizar este auxiliary para hacer questions acerca del pasado. Did, did you have a good weekend? Como ya tenemos el auxiliary, el verbo sigue igual. No cambia a pasado. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had. El pasado de have sería had. I had a busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I uh -huh, exercised. Algunos verbos solo le vamos a poner ed para ponerlos en pasado. In the morning, and my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, este ya es un verbo regular, cambia completamente, do se convierte en did en el pasado, did laundry and shopped, 
Este es regular, solo agregamos ID. And then I visited ID as well. I visited, just the pronunciation, it's a little bit different. I visited my parents. So what did you do? Did auxiliary for a question. What did you do on Saturday, on Sunday? I studied in past. I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. This is the auxiliary for negative. I did not or I didn't. I didn't is the contraction of did not. I didn't study. I just watch television. Okay, just watch television. This is the past all weekend. All right. Is there any question? Alguien tiene alguna question sobre esto? Yes or no? No? Um, yo sí. Um, Tell me. Eh, el auxiliar únicamente se utiliza para las preguntas en el pasado y en la, en las oraciones en negativo. It's true. Right. En, en afirmativo voy a usar el verbo en pasado. Por ejemplo, today, ¿qué hice hoy? Digamos. I got up early, I went to work, I studied, I worked, I cleaned the house, I had lunch. O sea, en afirmativo no hay problema, simplemente digo el verbo en paz. ¿Ya? Pero a la hora de hacer questions, si yo necesito un auxiliar, lo fácil de la question es que como ya utilicé el auxiliar, el verbo ya no lo tengo que poner en pasado, ya no me tengo que recordar cuál es la forma pasada del verbo. ¿Ya? ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, si yo le quiero decir, le quiero preguntar, ¿qué hizo este día? What did you do today? Yes. El primer es el auxiliar, el did, y el do ya es el verbo normal, en base form. Yes. O si le quiero hacer una yes no question, le digo, did you go to work? No necesito decirle, did you went? Que went sería el pasado de go. Y en la forma negativa... Okay. Yes, y en la forma negativa también nos sirve el did, solo que con la partícula not. Y ahí depende si usted lo quiere decir contractado o separado. I did not work today. Yo no trabajé este día. I did not go to the mall. Or I didn't go to the mall. Yes. Entonces el reto realmente es en la forma, o en las oraciones más bien dicho, afirmativas. Que ahí sí tengo que saber cuál es el pasado de cada verbo. Para los verbos regulares, solo agrego ED. Para los irregulares, sí me los tengo que aprender. All right. Ok, gracias. No problem. Sí, para los verbos, perdón, la pregunta. Para los verbos irregulares, ¿cuál sería el pasado? ¿O cómo tendría que ser? Es, vaya, voy a, voy a dejar de compartir como para que tengamos una mejor idea. Para los verbos irregulares, existen los listados, ¿verdad? Listado de verbos irregulares. Usted dice irregular verbs in past. Y es aprendérselo. Go, when, see, so, eat, ate. Y es estar repasando o creando oraciones. Yo sugiero que creen oraciones. Por ejemplo, digan, voy a agarrar estos cinco verbos y me voy a aprender el pasado de do, de see, de take. Entonces usted dice, I saw a movie last night. Todas las expresiones tienen que ir en pasado para que el verbo tenga sentido de haberlo usado en pasado. Yes, I took a shower in the morning. Ya no digo I take, no, I took. Yes, I went to the movies last Saturday. Yes, entonces es eso nada más. Es cuestión de irlos usando en contexto e irlos internalizando. Pero no hay una regla como tal, como lo regular, es que solo le pongo ID. Ya. Yeah. Ok, y otra pregunta, ¿dónde podemos encontrar esa lista de verbos? Yo les voy a dar una, don't worry. Ah, okay. I'll give you one. Es que pregunto porque este, en la plataforma, de hecho hoy en la tarde estaba haciendo la plataforma, un examen de la sección 4, creo. Y este, el primer examen de la sección 4, este, aparece eso de poner en pasado los verbos. Y ya le aparece. Entonces eso como que me ha dado lata, ¿verdad? Entonces... Me he quedado pensando algunas cosas sí me, me ha servido, o sea, que he podido hacer el pasado, pero otros verbos no. 
Sí, no, no se preocupen, yo les voy a compartir un listado, de hecho tengo un listado de verbos regulares, porque los verbos regulares, aunque solo es de ponerle ed, el reto es en la pronunciación, no todos se va a pronunciar Ajá. como ed, algunos se pronuncian como d, otros como t, y otros como ed, ah, okay. y de los irregulares, pues ni modo, cambia totalmente la forma, pero sí, yo se los voy a compartir, don't worry. Ok, thanks. Uh -huh. Lorena. Sí, yo tengo una pregunta. O sea que al formular oraciones en pasado siempre se van a ocupar los verbos regulares. O depende del tipo de verbo. Los verbos, perdón. Eh, cuando se, hace, se va a hacer una oración en pasado, uh -huh. siempre se va a utilizar un verbo irregular. Va a depender de lo que quiera decir. Uh -huh. ah, Por okay. ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, yo, he, yo hice ejercicio, es un verbo regular. Yo simplemente digo, I exercise. Solo que hago el t al final. Y en la escritura es ed, ed, ¿ya? Pero si quiero decir, yo fui al centro comercial, ahí sí voy a usar el pasado de go, que sería I went. Ajá, porque no podía decir I go ed, que es lo que tienden a hacer los niños, a generalizar que todo va con ed, porque es en pasado. Pero no es así, no es como en, en español, pues, que dice... Bueno, aunque en español igual son irregulares las formas, porque te dice, yo voy, yo fui. No dice yo, yo voy ido. No existe, ¿verdad? Entonces yo voy, yo fui. Entonces es diferente. Lo que pasa es que no nos no detenemos a pensar porque es nuestra lengua materna. Pero es muy similar en Spanish. Yes. Es muy similar en Spanish y en English. Yes. Ok. Veamos. One more time. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. Aquí no dice yo, I have, I had, porque dice yo tuve. I had a busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. Feel, ya no lo ponen pasado porque ahorita me siento cansado, ¿ya? Si no, si dijera yo me sentí, tendría que decir I felt el pasado de feel. I felt, no, I feel a little tired porque es ahorita. Really, why? Well, on Saturday I exercised. Yes, está diciendo que hizo ejercicio, no lo pone en presente. Si lo pusiera en presente, no le pondría la D. Aquí como ya termina en E, obviamente solo va a agregar una D. Entonces le dice, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I uh -huh, cleaned. Otro verbo en el pasado, pero todos estos que terminan en ed son regulares. Did laundry, este sí es un verbo regular, porque dice hice o la de la ropa. I did laundry and shopped. Shopped también es un verbo regular, solo que se pronuncia como con t. I shopped. And then visited ed, que suena como ed, también un verbo regular. My parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? Otra vez, question, ¿verdad? What did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched. Aquí también. Yo solo vi televisión, le hice todo el fin de semana. I just watched television all weekend. Yes? Bye. Vamos a ver. Volunteers, levante la mano quien quiere hacer la conversation. Raise your hand. Ok. We can Nidia. And Kenya. Vamos a escucharlas a ellas primero y luego los que levantaron la mano. Ok. Nidia, you start and Kenya, you continue. Okay. Hi Jennifer, did you have a cold weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercised in the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped, and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? 
I studied for the, for the test all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? Oh, perdón, I didn't study, I just checked television all weekend. I didn't study, I just watched the I didn't study. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't study, I just watched I, television. I didn't study, okay. Uh -huh. I just study. watched television all weekend. Okay, Melvin and Marta, very good. Melvin, you start, one, two, three. Yo soy Michael. Uh -huh. Okay. Hi Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I clean it, did laundry and shop it. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test day today? I did study. I just watched television all weekend. I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Watched. I did. Van a hacer como un sonido un poco forzado al inicio. Watched. Watched. Exactly. Watched. Watched. All right. Thank you. Very good. Jamie and Eva, are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. One, two, three, go. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a good weekend. I think I'm tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then I roommate, and I clean, the laundry, the shop, and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test of day. Oh, no. Do we have a test to, to die? I did a study. I was watching television all weekend. All weekend, okay. All, all right. weekend. Yes. This is all busy. Weekend. Ustedes predicen una U, teacher, pero suena como I. Usted imagínese que es una I. Busy, busy, busy. Okay? And this is just. I just watched television all weekend. Yes? Okay, Jose and Glenda, are you ready? Jose, you start. Yes, teacher. All right, one, two, three, go. Jose Garcia, hello. Okay, teacher. Go. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped, and then I visited my parents. So, what did you do, do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television all weekend. Nice, I just watched television all weekend, I didn't study. All right, great. Congratulations, that's awesome. Interesting. Okay, no questions, right? So we're going to practice, listen, we're going to practice, traten de cambiar y usar otras acciones, yes? Ya no digan I studied or I did laundry, otras cosas que hayan hecho. I went to the park, I cooked, 
I clean the house, no sé, whatever se les ocurra. Solo van a ir sustituyendo las actividades. Y después obviamente la misma surprise, but oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just chatted on the phone all weekend, or I just play video games all weekend. Yes, le tengo como de ponerle más su, su toque, ¿verdad? Let me see, let me get some breakout rooms. Vamos a hacer, tratar de quedar in groups of three, por lo menos para que se alternen los participantes, tomen turnos y practiquen con dos participantes al menos en su room, ¿ok? Let me see. Right now I share the, the conversation with you, no problem. And then I visit my parents. Oh, so what did you do on Sunday? I'm asleep all day. Oh no, uh, I am tired today because I not sleep um, ayer ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> yesterday yesterday yeah lo tenía yes. <laughs> bueno Thank más you. o menos ahora quizás Daisy con usted ¿eh? ok <laughs> bueno ok Daisy me pregunta a mí bueno Uh, really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Sin, sin my roommate, I in a cleanliness, did laundry and shop and did the visit by far. So, what did you do on Saturday and Sunday? I study for this ya la vea day. Que tenía tu guardadito. This today? Sí. I just watch television all weekend. Okay. Uh, creo que Lorena está, ¿verdad? Con nosotros. Yes. I did go to supermaker, super, supermarket. I did go to supermarket. I, I cooked. Uh, and after I clean my house. Ahora se tiene que preguntar la siguiente. Ok. So, what did you do on Monday? 
I work in platform uh, English, English corporative. Oh no, do we have a test today? A day, a study, I use WhatsApp television or weekend. Está bien. Veamos con. Todo bien. Ya me bueno. hago con Alison, quiero Ajá. escuchar. Sí. Vaya, hoy te eh, voy a preguntar yo, Alison. Ok. Hi, Alison. Do you have a weekend? Uh, well, I had a tired weekend and I feel a little good. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I I did a study for my for my test and cleaned my house. and work the Saturday. Uh, so what did you do on Sunday? Um, ¿Qué sería que hiciste el domingo? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. I did work in my yard. Uh -huh. And... ¿Cómo se dice ordenar? Ordené. <laughs> you can say put in order. Uh, uh -huh. There exists a verb that is tidy. Tidy up or put in order. Entonces así sería. I put in order the house. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo? Eh, como usted quiere este, decir que puso en orden su casa, ¿verdad? O sea, uh -huh. no su casa. Entonces, pudiera decir, I put, eh, I put order my house. Ah, uh, I did order, ajá. Uh -huh. I did order my house. Eh, no, sería eh, el verbo put de poner, ¿verdad? Eh, Yes. yes, yes, yes. I That's put right. this order. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. The house. house. Y mucho empezamos y, y vamos armándolo. Y si no podemos equivocar, no hay problema. Nos ayudamos. Vaya. Vaya, permítame un momento. Sí. Vaya. Vaya, empezamos. Empezamos. Con, con Wendy, ¿verdad? Yo? Ajá. Sí. Ay, Jennifer. Eh, quiero ver. O le cambiamos el nombre suyo. Ana, yo soy Ana. ¿Cómo se soy... llama usted? Ana. Ana. Uh -huh. Hi, Ana. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had busy weekend. I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I went to the swim in the morning. Then my, my son, um, um, I clean in the laundry and it's open. And then I visit. Uh, so what did, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television 
all weekend. Hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahora quizá Jennifer le pregunta a Eva, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. Y de ahí yo le pregunto a ella y así. Viceversa. Yesterday. All day. Oh, and no. <laughs> in, in, yo? Yes. Eh. I work uh, this weekend. Uh, and yeah, I sleep tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Ahora creo que irían ustedes. Okay. Eh, si usa una pregunta, Eddie. Hi. Quiero eh, ver su nombre, ¿cuál es? Chota. This is my parent. Hi. So, what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all that all day. Okay. Oh no! Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay. Hoy pregunta Daisy y respondo yo. <laughs> Hi Kenya, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercised in the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned the laundry and shopped, and then I Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, did you? Did you finish? Yes. Good. A lot of practice. Did you change the verbs? All right. Vamos a terminar de esperar a los otros que vengan. They are coming back from the breakout rooms. Yes. Okay, great. How was it? How was the practice? ¿Qué tal les fue? Good. Good. <laughs> kind of interesting. Kind of nice. hard. Nice, great, good. Okay, use your imagination, use your creativity, right? Using the verse, okay? All right. Not a problem, let's see. I have to share this. Okay, this is the conversation we were just studying. And now let me just make this bigger. Yes, here we go. Bye. Tengo esta lámina, déjenme solo hago esto más pequeñito. Para... Una idea, ¿verdad? Obviously, this is not everything, pero vi también que estaban este, pidiendo ayuda también de la platform en, el, en nuestro grupo. Así que aquí como un poquito para que les quede claro, ¿verdad? En positive or affirmative, eso es cuando creamos oraciones afirmativas, los verbos sí van a tener que ir en pasado. 
Ahí simplemente es cuestión de estudiarlos y de, de irlos poniendo en, en práctica, de irlos usando en oraciones para que les hayamos sentido. En negative, como ya explicaba, vamos a usar el did not o el didn't. Ahí va a depender cómo usted se sienta más cómodo. No existe una regla que diga, no, tiene que hablar solo con contractions. No, no existe una regla que diga, no, no tiene que usar contractions. Ambas están correctas. ¿Ok? Se prefiere, se prefiere, obviously, en escritos formales, no usar contractions. Pero eso sería en caso de que usted esté escribiendo un documento, una carta o algo serio. De lo contrario, se puede usar o no usar contractions, es indiferente, no pasa nada. Y en las questions, esto es algo súper cool del inglés, que si usted se aprende esto o le encuentra más bien dicho el truco, Siempre las questions van a iniciar con un auxiliary. Para el caso, el auxiliary del past tense es el did. Para todos los sujetos, no como el present que para algunos pronombres es do y para otros pronombres es does. No, para el caso, en el past tense todo va a ser did. Did you, did he, did she, did we, yes. En caso de que sea yes, no question, obviamente iniciamos directamente con el auxiliary did. Si es una information question, pues obviamente anteponemos what, where, when, why, how, who. What did you do yesterday? Where did you study high school? Yes. When did you get married? So, ahí va a depender de lo que queramos preguntar. Ok, esto es como una generalidad. Igual les puedo compartir la información, no problem, yo se las comparto en su grupo. Para que lo tengan de referencia. Yes. Y aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos de oraciones afirmativas escritas en past tense usando verbos al inicio, verbos regulares, no, verbos regulares, perdón, oraciones afirmativas. Luego tenemos algunas negative y algunas yes, no questions. He drew beautiful pictures last week. Drew es el pasado de draw. Él dibujó paisajes o fotos o qué, pictures, dibujos, va a ser un poco repetitivo en español, muy bonitos la semana pasada. You gave the present to your friend. El pasado de give es gave. Yes, we bought a new car. Nosotros compramos, el pasado de buy es bought. En negative, he didn't or he did not draw beautiful pictures. La misma, la primera, la pongo en negativo. Se fija, el draw ya no cambia porque ya tengo el auxiliary. Did I learn Spanish last summer? Did you give the present to your friend? Did we buy a new car? So, yes, no questions, ¿verdad? Estos solo son ejemplos. Luego tenemos lo que les comentaba de la pronunciation de los verbos regulares. A todos el, los verbos regulares le vamos a agregar ed. Sin embargo, hay tres pronunciaciones. Eso va a depender con qué sonido termina el verbo. Si termina en t o d, al agregar la id, simplemente la pronuncia como id. Por eso dice, the pronunciation of words ending id depends on the final consonant sound. There are three ways to be pronounced or to pronounce the id. So, T en D, por ejemplo, want, el último sonido de want es la T. Y al agregar la id, id, digo id, wanted. Need, la última letra o el último sonido consonante de need, d. Entonces, al agregar ed, digo needed, en paz. Luego, estos son como los sonidos voiceless. Generalmente es como que ay, solo hay una explosión de aire, no hay vibración en las cuerdas vocales al sonar. Por ejemplo, entonces van a decir, ay, pero ¿quién se pone a hacer eso? Pues eso se hace casi que un proceso inconsciente, ¿verdad? Eso no necesariamente tiene que ser la última letra en escritura, sino el último sonido. Cuando yo digo help, help, el último sonido es la p. Entonces, al agregar la ed, digo helped. Igual con look. 
El último sonido es Entonces digo looked Washed Washed Watched Watched Laugh Laughed Breathe Breathed Kiss Kissed Dance Danced Fixed Fixed Yes. Y luego acá viene la gran mayoría, que son los sonidos que supuestamente vibra, ¿verdad? Eso obviamente tiene que ser un proceso mucho más así, estudiado. De que, ay, ¿dónde están las cuerdas vocales? Y la gente se empieza a tocar por acá. Bla. Todos las tenemos, obviamente, solo que no nos percatamos de eso. Pero están todas estas consonantes que tienen esa vibration. Y acá incluimos los sonidos vocálicos, o sea, las, las de las vocales, vowel sounds, perdón, sorry. Entonces, para pronunciarla, hay como una vibration, obviamente yo estoy exaggerating. Entonces, al agregar la ed, digo cold, d, como una d. Esto es un, un sonido nasal, clean, 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 d. R, offer, offered, g, damage, damaged, love, loved. Esta a veces la S en, es, en inglés no suena como S, sino que suena como Z. Entonces digo use, used, follow, o, oh, esta W al final suena como O, oh, uh, entonces followed, enjoy. Hoy, hoy, enjoy, como sonido vocálico, de, un, de, dos, de dos vocales juntas, ¿verdad? Entonces digo enjoy, esta definitivamente suena como tal, amazed, amazed, d, d. Entonces esto es como para estar consciente, no es que ahorita ya lo vamos a hacer y ya nos sale súper chivo y todo. Entonces es como para tener una idea. De que no todos los verbos que en pasado le ponga una ed va a sonar como ed, sino que podría ser que sí suene como ed, como ed, o puede ser que suene como d o como t. Esto es obviamente algo que vamos a tener en cuenta a la hora de hablar. A la hora de escribir, pues, ed and that's it. Y para eso tenemos acá un reto. ¿Quiénes han escuchado esta historia? ¿Es un cuento? En español no sé cómo se llama realmente. Ah, los frijoles mágicos creo que se llama en español. En inglés se llama Jack and the Beanstalk. ¿Quién lo han escuchado? Raise your hand. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. of course. Yes, teacher. Yes, Todos fuimos yes. children. Es de los, de los frijolitos, creo yo, mágicos. Exactly. Sí, es eso. Todos fuimos children hace como dos años, me van a decir. Of course. No, hace poquito. Hace poquito. Yesterday. <ríe> sí, aquí solo gente joven. <ríe> ok. A ver qué dicen en el chat. Yes, of course. <ríe> Bye. Entonces, vamos a leer esta historia. En inglés, as I said, se llama Jack and the Beanstalk. Váyanse percatando de todos los verbos que tienen pasado. Obviously, yo voy a ir exaggerating, ¿verdad? Entonces, once upon a time, esta es una frase que decimos también en español, solo que en español decimos, érase una vez. Yes. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack. He lived with his mother. They were very poor. All they had was a cow. One morning, Jack's mother told him to take the cow to the market and sell her. On the way, Jack met a man. He gave Jack some magic beans for the cow. Jack took the beans and went back home. When Jack's mother saw the beans, she was very angry. She threw the beans out of the window. The next morning, Jack looked out of the window. There was a giant beanstalk. He went outside and started to climb the beanstalk. He climbed up to the sky through the clouds. Jack saw a beautiful castle. He went inside. Jack heard a voice, fee, fa, fa, fum, and ran into a cupboard. An enormous giant came into the room and sat down. 
On the table, there was a hen and a golden harp. Lay, said the giant. The hen laid an egg. It was made of gold. Sing, said the giant. The harp began to sing. Soon the giant was asleep. Jack jumped out of the cupboard. He took the hen and the harp. Suddenly the harp sang, help, master. The giant shouted, fee, fa, fo, fum. Jack ran and started to climb down the beanstalk. The giant came down after him. Jack shouted, mother, help. Jack's mother took an ax and shot down the beanstalk. <laughs> okay. The giant fell and crashed to the ground. Nobody ever saw him again. With the golden eggs and the magic harp, Jack and his mother lived happily ever after. The end. Okay. Bye. ¿Cuál es la idea de esta, de esta story? Es que identifiquemos cuántos verbos tiene el pasado. It has a lot of verbs. Si se fijan en narrativa, obviamente, cuando narramos es, ay, sucedió hace muchos años que en un país muy lejano. Entonces, entonces, obviously, para narrar algo que sucedió, vamos a necesitar los verbos en pasado. Es más, ahorita que, que me tuvieran que contar qué es lo que hicieron este día. ¿Qué sucedió este día? Ya me tendrían que usar los verbos en paz. Obviamente, ese es un proceso que se lleva su tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a aprendernos los verbos en paz. ¿Ok? Voy a dar... Let me see. Ay, quisiera dar 10 minutos. <ríe> I wish I could give you 10 minutes para que la practiquen y lo identifiquen, pero no problem. Lo vamos a hacer desde... desde nuestro computer o cell phone, identifíquenlos, ok, se las voy a poner en el grupo, la historia, y lo vamos a hacer tomorrow, me van a decir, oh, yo encontré este, este, este verbo en pasado, este verbo es el pasado de, por ejemplo, ya, yeah? o oh, jumped es el pasado de jump, yes, shouted es el pasado de shout, ok, entonces solo es cuestión de identificar los verbs en paz, ya sean regular o irregular, porque tienen de ambos en esta, en esta story. Any question? ¿Alguien tiene alguna question? Comment, doubt, worries. <ríe> ¿Algún comentario, pena, tristeza, dolor? No, it's ok. Escríbanlo en el chat. Write it on the chat. Okay, teacher. It's okay. Yes. It's fine. Okay. So no problems. Let's continue practicing, okay? Definitely we have to practice a lot. All right. So I'll send the story to identify the verse in past and you tell me tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday and we have classes. Yes? Thank you. Thumbs up? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye